guys, it's Tara and welcome back to Crafting with Curly Cues. Today I am a little behind, but I am sharing with you these adorable little valentines that I made using the Doodlebug Soap Honey and Simon Says Stamp Foodie Friends um, stamp set. So I um, used a bunch of different stuff that actually came in the limited edition Simon Says Stamp Valentine card kit. And um, that card kit has since sold out, but you can get most of this stuff um, individually. So I will make sure that I link to all that for you. But I had to use this adorable Foodie Friend stamp set. I freaked out over the So Punny collection from Doodlebug, you guys. And now that Simon Says Stamp has paired up with Doodlebug and they are kind of making some of these coordinating stamp sets for their the Doodlebug papers. And I'm just like dying, you guys. <laughs> and this is like so stinking cute. I had to have this. I'm obsessed with um, soda pop. I actually quit soda pop this year, you guys. It's been a really hard two months, but <laughs> but um, typically I'm obsessed with soda pop. So that was one of the giant appeals for me of this um, particular stamp set. So I, as you saw, stamped all these little images using my Misty and I just stamped them on some Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock and I used some um, Copic friendly ink for that and I did stamp them quite a few times because they're brand new stamps and sometimes you got to get them pretty inky before you're going to get a good image. Plus Simon sent, tends to have these really thin um, lines on their stamps which I think is great but I really wanted to make sure they were nice and crispy so that I was able to get a really good impression here for my coloring. So I am going to color all these little stamps in using my Copic markers. I haven't really sat and just like colored in a long time so it was kind of this was some really basic Copic coloring y'all and part of that was so that I could kind of get myself back into Copic coloring and do just some simple shading on these cutie little images. Um, the images kind of speak for themselves you guys. They don't need tons of coloring and craziness going on so you just kind of got to throw the color on there. And that was what I needed was a nice little Copic refresher so I thought why the heck not. We'll just make some really simple kind of just Valentine like these aren't even necessarily cards. They don't, they don't like open. They're just little like, you know, like Valentine's, like you buy in the box and they're just one little square. <laughs> that's what I'm making here because that's what came in my card kit were these um, fancy little papers that were just one little square. And I was like, well, that's cute. I can make some Valentine's and bring them into work. So that's what I did here. Plus I just wanted to hang out with these adorable little soda pops with smiley faces on them because come on now. I like want to make a pillow that looks like that. Is anybody here a good like seamstress? I'm not a good sewer. I have a sewing machine and I've made like a thing, <laughs> but I'm not very good at it. But wouldn't it be so cute to have a little like soda pop bottle pillow with a little face on it? OMG, I want it. So if anybody wants to like take that, I'll commission you to make me a soda pop pillow. So <laughs> anyway, I'm Copa coloring here. I'm not talking about it too much because it's really simple. You guys, I'm using maybe two tones per um, color and I'm just laying down a little bit of the dark and then blending it out with some light. I'm trying to stick to the same kind of color families at the beginning here. I've got my little mint and pink theme going on. Some of my favorite color combos right there. And then I'm using some grays. Um, I am going to switch to some more like kind of natural colors as I get into the food selection here because you know I didn't want to make like my tomatoes not be red but <laughs> but for the rest of it I'm trying to stick to that kind of pink and mint theme I originally was going to use my brother scan and cut to cut all these images out for me and the brother scan and cut the way that I use it um leaves a little white border around all your images a lot like the uh, coordinating die cut would do but oh my gosh, you guys, clearly it's been a while since I have Copic colored because I don't know if you're noticing, but I am getting like out of the lines a lot on these little bad boys. And I, at first I was blaming the thin lines on the stamped images. And then as I went along and it just kept happening, I was like, no, Tara, this is because you are out of practice. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. So instead, I'm going to fussy cut these bad boys out. And so kind of towards the end, I kind of stopped caring so much about trying to stay inside the lines and I just kind of colored. So I will talk really quickly about that gorgeous, beautiful black surface that you can see behind my paper. That is the Tim Holtz craft mat, you guys, um, the Tim Holtz glass craft mat. So I just bought this. I knew that I wanted it, but I didn't realize I had no idea when it was coming out. 
um, because I'm just like super out of touch. And, but I went to the craft store because I knew I wanted the new, um, distress oxide colors that came out and it, they're like glowing on an end cap <laughs> was this gorgeous, amazing glass craft mat. And I was like, yeah, that's coming home with me today. So I picked this puppy up like as soon as I saw it. And so far, you guys, I'm kind of obsessed. The biggest complaint that I have, and it's not even like legit because it would not apply to everyone, is that when I'm filming my videos at night because I have no time to do it during the daytime when there's actual sunshine out because I work full time and then I have my business job. So when I'm filming these videos for you guys, it's like the wee vampire hours of the night. And um, I have a giant ring light on in my room to add some light so that you're not getting like super dark videos because it's the middle of the night. And uh, my only complaint is that my ring light kind of reflects because it's glass. <laughs> But that's not like a valid complaint about how it functions. It's amazing, you guys. And I'm, I cannot wait to use the, um, I'll show you kind of later. I'm pretty sure when I zoom out, this is definitely not like a review video of the glass mat. If you guys want one of those, I can maybe do a more specific video talking about it. Um, so I'm not sure if I show like the full mat, but over to the right hand side, there's this whole section, you guys, that's just white under the glass. And it's absolutely fabulous because you can like squish your distress inks and stuff for like smushing over there and you can see the true color of what it is. Like that's super handy because how often do we, like a lot of us have like a laminated piece of white paper that we just kind of keep around so that we can see the true color of, you know, like watercolors and stuff that we're using that we want to put on our surface. So that's super handy. And then it also comes with a nonstick craft mat, you guys, which is fabulous. And it's a white nonstick craft mat. It's there. You can see kind of off to the right, that little, um, that section there. So it's a white nonstick craft mat and it's small. So it's nice and compact and it has like a nonstick surface on the back. So you can see, I just picked that up and brought it over and I'm going to use it while I do some of my distress ink stenciling over the top of my little cards here. So I fussy cut those images as you can see once I got done and I found this random dot stencil from I believe this is an Echo Park stencil and I am going to bust out a couple colors of Distress Oxide inks. I've got Picked Raspberry and Cracked Pistachio and I have no idea if these ones came out with the new release or how long they've been out because I just kind of just picked up like all the Distress inks so to me they're all brand new and fabulous. Um, I haven't used these oxides much. This is probably one of the first times I've actually used them and this is not a super like you could do this with any ink so <laughs> I'm not really testing out the oxides real hardcore here um, but it was super fun to play with them for sure and they definitely blend really well. I can't wait to blend with them when I'm not using a stencil. So I am just going to do half of my cards. Well actually a couple cards in that cracked pistachio because I thought it went really well with the mint and then I'm going to do a couple in the picked raspberry because I thought it went really well with the pink and then I'm going to do a couple in. I'm actually going to bust out the candied apple after this because I realized that some of those like um, tomatoes and stuff needed like a red background, which all of it is Valentine's colors. So I was totally cool with that. So I kind of did like an ombre, um, distressing here and I went a little heavier on one end and a lighter, like on the top. Um, and super simple, you guys, I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just trying to put a little bit of background on these cards cause they're going to be super simple and basic. And then I put a little bit of ink around the outside just to kind of make it seem finished. I didn't stamp anything on the back. I actually was going to try to stamp like a to and from, but I just, I didn't get around to it. I started popping everything up on the front of the cards and then I realized that I hadn't stamped the back and I was like, you know, at this point it's too late. So, <laughs> so I just didn't even bother. Um, but you know, you could absolutely stamp something on the back. You could stamp a to and from, you could stamp something like you know, more images, you could pop this up on the front, this little panel on the front of a normal like A2 size card and use some like some of the adorable um, so punny pattern paper behind it. That would be super cute. So lots of fun things you can do with these little pre-cut note cards. Um, I just decided that I would actually do them as Valentine's because that card kit that I had bought, the Valentine card kit, also came with little baby envelopes for this size of card. So how stinking cute is that, right? So I wanted to use it. So I am just using a baby wipe to clean up both my stencil and my fabulous nonstick craft mat right there. See my ring light reflection off to the right, you guys? It's like so annoying. I cannot figure out, like, I just need some sort of fancy lighting. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still working on it. I've been organizing like a crazy person around here. <laughs> but, you know, 
I can only justify so many new purchases. Hubby keeps saying, like, well, if you keep making the videos, because I was out of it for so long. <laughs> he's like, you know, don't spend a ton of money, because, and I'm like, no, I'm in. And he's like, I hope you're back to doing it, but let's just make sure. So you know how it goes. Anywho, I am using the adorable, super punny, absolutely phenomenal, um, there's my noggin, um, sentiments that come with that stamp set and they're really similar to the sentiments you're going to find throughout the So Punny collection um, from Doodlebug and they're all like this is you've stolen a pizza my heart and they all go with the different images that I have cut out and then I'm using some of the Doodlebug sprinkles in both the hearts and then this adorable pack that's called Tiny Hearts that has you know as you probably guessed a whole bunch of tiny hearts and I love them because the tinier the better in my opinion. <laughs> And I am popping just one image per card up off the um, card base and then I'm using just a couple of these little accents to add some little Valentine love and then I stamp my sentiment in Versa Mark, Versa Mark, Versa Fine, not Versa Mark, Versa Fine Black Onyx Pigment Ink because it's super crispy. And then I'm going to make the little eyes pop with my black glazed Jelly Roll pen and then I will add some white dot detail with my um, Jelly Roll white pen as well as some little highlights on these different images just to make them that much more whimsical because that is the beauty of these particular images is they are super whimsical and phenomenal. And every card gets a little bit of shimmer because I love me some glitter and it's Valentine's and you need glitter on Valentine's. Am I right? I think I'm right. So that is the pizza card. I'm not going to show you every single one of these, you guys, because I do it exactly the same. They're all super simple. They're just popped up. I'm going to show you, I think, one more here with my little chili peppers because they are hot. I love these little chili peppers. You guys are so cute. <laughs> and this little sentiment says, hey, hot stuff. How cute is that? I think that sentiment would be super fun, even though it's tiny, to mask off and make the hot like red. So you have like a different colored sentiment. That'd be so stinking cute, you guys. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I want to do like a whole background with all these little guys and like stamp them all out and maybe color them. I just think they're so fun and not just for Valentine's Day. Like these um, little critters are going to be fabulous for year round. So this stamp set you guys was already in my stash when I started this whole like coming back and diving in because as I mentioned in my last video my goal this year is to use things that I already have as opposed to buying new craft supplies because I've realized that I have so much stuff that is just being sadly neglected and I need to use it. Um, this is a newer stamp set, but just so you know, I did already have it. So <laughs> once I created all my little background cards, I just took those cute little envelopes that came in the kit and I added some of the um, shape sprinkles from Doodlebug that came in the little shapes that match the kind of images and I just popped some on those envelopes, you guys. Super stinking cute. I love you from my head to my toes. The soda ones. It's killing me. It's killing me. I love it. You guys, these are so stinking cute. I hope you all run out and grab this stamp set. And there's one that goes with it that's like breakfast foods. I don't have that one because I'm trying not to buy stamp sets, but I love it so much. So that is the complete set, you guys. I made, I believe, yes, yeah, seven little Valentines and their little coordinating envelopes. I'm just showing you a couple up close here so you get the idea. Um, thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I am going to be back soon with another fabulous card video. Um, if you love this video, go ahead and click my face to subscribe here. You can join me on Instagram and Facebook. And here are a couple more videos that you may enjoy. And thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.